On a night when most of their playoff rivals found a way to stumble, a trip to struggling Plymouth presented an opportunity for Charlton, still unbeaten since Nigel Adkins took over. How well they'd grabbed that chance wasn't immediately apparent despite their first half lead. Jake forced a Kasky's header beating the dive of Kel Watts, which is presumably why the defender was spared a red card. Argyle had actually started brightly without creating anything of note, but the addicts were far more clinical. Adam Matthews' cross was met by former Exeter striker Jaden Stockley on a happy return to Devon. Exactly how happy became clear after the break. More impressive work down the left from Liam Miller prompted an unlucky moment for Watts, perhaps now wishing he had been sent off. And a couple of minutes later, a few more Plymouth players were probably looking for the exit. Confidence clearly draining away and possession lost before Stockley and Miller combined to set up an opportunity for Alex Gilby. Now Charlton couldn't miss, while Plymouth couldn't find a teammate with a simple pass. Before the hour, those factors played a part in the visitors' fifth. Miller with the goal he deserved, thanks in part to defending Argyle boss Ryan Lowe, later described as Sunday League. His team did stem the tide for half an hour or so before, with a minute left, Charlton equaled their record away league victory. From Darren Prattley to Chuck Zanike for 6-0, and the Londoners into the top six in distinctly sure-footed fashion. Yeah, another heavy defeat for Plymouth Argyle, but Charlton were terrific, weren't they? And, and goals from all over the pitch. We say Nigel Atkins has missed a positivity, and it's translating to the players. Yeah, it's definitely a positive performance, and to get six different goal scorers on the day, uh, one being an own goal, was fantastic. And they put themselves in a great position. You know, after Lebo, you're leaving, Atkins come in and did a great job. And, and this is the goal, I think, for, for Liam Miller that he deserved on the day because he was fantastic all game, and, and he deserved that goal. Yeah, I was at the game, and he was everywhere. Um, for the majority of teams in the upper half, with only Lincoln and Charlton winning in the top eight. The Addicts climb into the last playoff spot as a result, and Hull are now 11 points clear of third place Sunderland, with an instant return to the Championship very much in their sight. Bristol Rovers drop to the foot of the table as their five year stay in League One is all but over. And the rest of the clubs in the bottom six all won. Wimbledon and Wigan are now five points from four points clear of the relegation zone, respectively, with games running out for those below them.